They're little, they're dainty, but they pack a powerful punch. Bacon, cheese, burger, game day cups. Let's get into it. Let me stop playing. Boy, if you don't get What's up, my beautiful YouTube fam? Excuse me if I'm looking over here, and then if you see me look over here, because I really don't know which hoe to look at. But I am back today, you guys, with a super quick, y'all know I'm all about quick, easy, delicious, um, little recipe ideas or whatever. So y'all know it's, um football season so today we are going to do a cute little game day snack treat game day food whatever you want to call it bacon cheeseburger cups so let's get into the video you guys I hope you guys enjoy it if you are new to the channel thank you so much for tuning in do not forget to hit that subscribe button like comment spam your girl up show your girl some love so let's get into this video you guys let me show you the ingredients that I will be using turn this around okay y'all so like I said real easy so I didn't want to bore you guys with showing you how I cook ground beef because I think y'all seen that before so this is just regular regular ground beef and um white onion ground beef and white onion there's no seasoning in this yet it's just ground beef and onion that's it over here I have my rusty trusty well this is not rust y'all it's clean it's just a little stain it ain't rust don't trip it ain't rust but I have my old trusty muffin pan here and what we are going to do is make little cups out of this pizza dough which is regular is it regular store brought pizza dough there you go regular pizza crust there you go easy peasy nothing major so what I'm gonna do you guys is take this dough like I said and I'm going to line my cups now my cups are already lined with butter it's lined with butter because I want this to just be butter, uh, just a buttery bite all the way through. So, let me line these cups up, you guys. And I will be back to show y'all the next step. Okay, you guys. So, I just wanted to come on and show you guys. I'm just grabbing the dough. See, it's, look, the dough all raggedy. It don't matter. It really don't matter. Just flatten it out. This is actually too much for one cup. So, look, I'm starting with this long thing. So, I'm just going to fold it and reform it up and then I'm gonna take my thumbs and the palm of my hands and kind of just spread it out spread it out just like that then what we're gonna do is just line them in our cups then when we put it in our cups we are just going to press along the edges and make sure the cup is completely filled I just wanted to show you guys how I'm doing the one. I'm not going to bore you with doing, with showing you all of them. So, well, you have to play with it because the dough is like so elasticy. So just play with it, spread it around, smack it, flip it, rub it down. So basically, you're making little cups like that, if you can see. Boom. And keep playing with it, like I said, and stretching it out until it is formed into your cup. You can even make the, um, use a little thinner piece too. If the thinner, the easier it is going to be to um, get inside your cups. So let me finish fighting with this dough, line these cups up, and I'll be back, y'all. Okay, y'all, so my cups are nice and formed. Oh, that ain't going to work. Okay, so my cups are nice and formed, you guys. So what I'm about to do is just, yes, I am baking chicken. I sure am. Beautiful 
whole cut up chicken down there. Delicious. Okay, so I'm going to power boil these to assure the uh, crust to be nice and done. I don't want them. I could put all my ingredients in there now and bake them all together, but I just want to make sure that um, dough doesn't come out um uh, you know doughy raw so I'm gonna power boil it and then we're gonna add our ingredients on and we is about to rock and roll y'all so now what I'm about to do I took my ground beef and onion out of the pot and in this same pot you guys I am about to fry up my bacon so I will be back to show you how I'm going to bring this all together when we go up the slide you too fam I am back so here is my partially baked um, pizza crust cups so what I did when they came out because they're still pretty not they're about uh, probably about 90% done so the dough was still kind of pliable so what I did is just took my because I want a deep cup and of course it's dough so it raised so what I, all I did is took my beautiful clean hand and I just took my two thumbs here and I just basically formed a nice deep opening in each one a deeper opening I just pushed it down with my hands because I want to stuff these bad boys with that ground beef okay so after you do that go ahead and make you some garlic butter this is butter, garlic powder, and parsley. Now we are going to brush these with some butter. Simple, simple. Brush, brush, brush. Brush, brush, brush. Brush, brush, brush. Cause we building up flavors with anything you do you want to build up flavors or at least that's how I cook so you know we put butter on the bottom we brush in the inside of the cup with butter and garlic and now let's get our spoon now we got our spoon here and that's all we gonna do this ground beef still hot too can y'all see y'all can't see that one I'm gonna do it a demonstration on the middle one right here okay so basically this is our meat fi fi filling so we just basically stuffing that down in that beautiful doughy cup see there cute little nice little game day snacks could come pick them up tear them up finger food finger food baby so yes let's stuff these bad boys so I'm going to stuff these almost done almost done y'all I'm almost done y'all while y'all watching me stuff these don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already I don't know what you're waiting for support a sister what you waiting for you liking what you see Hit that notification bell, that subscribe button, comment, let me know what y'all want me to do, or what y'all want to see next. Feedback is always great. Feedback, guys. Okay, so these is nice and stuffed, and I, don't I really don't have that much ground beef mixture left, which is great. So what I'm doing, I'm taking my spoon and I'm kind of pushing it down even further. Okay. Noise, baby. Very noise. Okay, so y'all. We going in with a more cheese. Just a little bit, you know. We got cheese all throughout our meat, so we really ain't trying to do too much. You dry that one, I mean. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? One more. So, my bacon is going to go on at the last. When these come out, 
then my bacon goes on. So let's pop these in the oven. These probably not even gonna take 10 minutes. I'll say probably eight. So I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. It's gonna be all plated up when I get back, peace. All right, my beautiful YouTube fam, my lamb. Here is the finished product. Little cute game day bacon cheeseburger cups. Aren't they cute? Not only are they cute, you guys, they are busting with flavor. Pair them with some of your favorite beer. Get you some ketchup and mustard to drizzle on there. Hold on, let me get my camera back. There we go. There we go. Get you some ketchup and mustard to drizzle on them bad boys. Get you some nice ice cold beer and you are ready for some football. As always, I thank you guys so much much for tuning in it means the world to me i appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart and as always everybody stay safe and stay blessed and i'll see you all in the next video bye